It's hard growing up in Indiana and not falling in love with the game of basketball. The year was 1956. I was six years old. Two events would change my life forever. We had our first television set, and I got to watch the nation's first all-black team compete for Indiana High School State Championship. That night, I was introduced to a young man who became not only my hero, but for every kid in our community's hero. His name was Oscar Palmer Robinson, the big O. He played for Chris Addicts High School, and uh, he won the state championship for the second time in 1956. The 1956 team was the first team to go undefeated and win a championship since our that tournament began in 1911. And I can't tell you the pride we felt in our community. The next day was a Sunday. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The next day was a Sunday, and it seems as though every boy in our neighborhood was out shooting buckets. We all wanted to be like the Big O. Oscar couldn't be here tonight, but he inspired me, as well as many others in our state, to play this game, and I want to thank him for that. Thirteen years later, in 1969, I was part of the second team in Indiana high school history to go undefeated and win a state championship, George Washington High School. Three guys on my high school team played professional ball. Steve Downing, who went on to IU and became an All-American and was the first draft pick of the Boston Celtics. Wayne Pack, who's here tonight, played for the Pacers and in Italy, uh, with, were part of our starting lineup along with a kid named Jim Arnold and Louis Day. I was very fortunate to be named Mr. Basketball that year in 1969. And we, had, we, we fielded the all-star team of our best seniors from Indiana against a team from Kentucky. It's a game that's been going on for a lot of years. We played two games, one in Indiana and one in Kentucky. The first game, I had 23 points and 14 rebounds. I didn't think that was too bad, but one of the Kentucky players was not very impressed with the game I had or, or me. So I didn't want to leave a bad impression on him, so the next week I had 53 points and 30 rebounds. 